Good evening and welcome to the first episode of Ghosts of the Old World. If the pilot works, we have ourselves a show. And tonight we're at the Grand Hotel Gula. No one has stayed in this hotel since that fateful Monday when a hundred people died in this room. Carl here from Games, Brains and Headbang Alive, GBHBell.com for short. And it's horror movie review time, and it's dread time. Because when you see a film with four writers listed, Andy Edwards, Barry Keaton, Mark Thompson, Ash Worth, and Francesco Cinemani, the latter of which also directed the film, things aren't looking good. That many different writers suggest a confused movie. And The Ghosts of Monday certainly proves to be that. Set in Cyprus, the Hotel Gula is an opulent hotel that has been abandoned for over 20 years. Ever since a banquet ended in mass death via rat poison at the hands of an unknown person. The doors were closed, the locals shunned it, and it grew a reputation for being haunted. Which makes it the perfect place for a ghost hunting show to visit and film within. Seems all very standard so far, right? It's a show hosted by the lecherous Bruce played by the late Julian Sands, directed by the hot-headed director Eric, Mark Huberman, and assisted by a crew that includes Eric's ex-wife and Bruce's daughter, Sophia, played by Mariana Rossette. All under the watchful eyes of the hotel's new owners, Frank, played by Anthony Scudori, and Rosemary, played by Maria Ayanu. They all want a ghost sighting, and it seems as though the Hotel Gula is sure to deliver. When we leave the family, of a mass burial. This place is cursed. What are you doing here? I'm done with all this. I won't leave you. Which it does, much to the surprise of absolutely no one watching this movie. The Ghost of Monday follows a tired path at first, feeling really familiar, even if a strong cast and a good location does create interest in what is happening. We hear about the hotel's history, which is delightfully dark, and quickly get up to speed on who likes who and who hates who. The suggestion that the group are not alone within the walls of the hotel becomes more apparent, and things start to get more and more unusual. Same old, same old. And then the film shifts in jarring fashion, transforming into a slasher that has, has more in common with a giallo than a supernatural horror. Everything about the movie changes here, and to call it confusing is an understatement. For many, it will just be too much. If you're one of them, I don't think anyone can blame you at all. The Ghosts of Monday made it abundantly clear it was going down the supernatural route and then yanked the rug out violently. And if that wasn't bad enough, it has another shift that brings in cults, sacrifices, ancient deities, and the end of the world. The Ghosts of Monday tries to do so much and doesn't really stick the landing on any of it, which is a real shame, as there's a lot to like about it. Firstly, the location is wonderful, and it feels like a place that has seen too much. Really get some Overlook Hotel vibes from it. In fact, there's a couple of shots that seem to try and replicate shots from The Shining too. The cast, they're strong, with special mention going to Julian Sands, who really steals the show. And the characters have just enough development to make them feel real. There are also some great effects, and as silly as it does get, it does entertain. All that being said though, the absurd tone and story shifts are all anyone will remember come the end. It's hard not to wonder if this is all the cause of having four writers working on it. It's a mess. It's as simple as that. You got any thoughts on it? You know what to do? Let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button button. It is gratefully appreciated. You can find us over at gbhbl.com, our full website where reviews, news and so much more goes up daily. We're also on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, threads, at gbhbl. Just search for gbhbl and you will find us out there. We also have merchandise on sale, 
you can access the shop via the website.